I can say that Two Gates Ragged School is unique. There were hundreds of ragged schools throughout this country, but now there are two. I went to a talk the other night and the talk mentioned how ragged schools came in. We were just one of two uh, ragged schools. Barry asked me quite a few years ago to go through the deeds, etc., of uh, Two Gates Ragged. And I went back to the very start when uh, a field was bought from a local publican, I believe a Mr Beasley, who owned the local pub and he also owned land. Noah Hingley and Justin Humphrey provided the money at the start to buy the plot of land and to get the whole project going. Tugask Ranged School, we believe, was built by the local people. We, Tugates, have always been associated with uh, children being here. To help children get educated. They wanted to learn how to read. These were working class people, hard working people. Mostly they would not be able to read and write and they wanted to be able to do this. And so the Ragged School came into being to help ragged children, children who were poor, often would come with nothing on their feet, ragged clothes. Can you imagine what it would have been like with no education? Because they started to learn to read, their parents started to want to learn to read as well. So classes started to be held, to teach adults as well how to read and write. Although when it started it was to educate children, today it performs tasks for the local people. Well, it's something that's been in my life since I was born, really. Two Gates Ragged School is very good on a social side. Two Gates is a quite a friendly area. People are really friendly. The Ragged School has always been uh, people friendly. The church has always belonged to the people of Two Gates. People have still got a lot of community about them. You know, growing up with the children around here, going to Caslon School and everything. We have remarks from people who come from outside to things like the coffee morning that they're always made really welcome. But even though you don't worship here, They'll beat you at the door, they'll greet you as though you're a long lost friend. People say that I come because I enjoy it and I feel comfortable when I'm here with the congregation. I go because I want to go, as simple as that. You don't feel like you're in a church, you don't feel pressured. People enjoy coming. They just feel you're part of the family, even though you're not, they make you feel part of the family. And it's really nice. We make the effort to be, shall I say, be different. They wanted to have their own free church and to run it as they saw fit and to invite preachers who they wanted and not to belong to any particular brand of the church. One of the things that I try to uh, impress on uh, our regular members in the deacons that when new people come into two gates that they must always make a contact and be friendly with them and uh, let them enjoy the time they spend here at two gates. See if you're a deacon you should be prepared to do a deacon's job. Whatever the chapel or whatever I organise, and we need people, the deacon should be the first to volunteer. I am a deacon at Two Gates Ragged School and feel it is important that there should be deacons. We all have, a, have meetings and have a say in what goes on in the chapel, whether we're for it or against it. One of my duties as a deacon is to meet and greet the preachers who come week by week. Some of the preachers are, are just lovely. When they come, I meet them in the vestry and then I pray especially for the preacher and 
I trust that this helps them, strengthens them, before we leave the vestry, then we go out to the church. People come, not just from the the village of Two Gates, but from surrounding areas. All the people in Two Gates Ragged School are all very friendly. They're so welcoming. Very, very special. Everyone's made welcome. This is what makes Two Gates Ragged School so special. Everybody joins in, everybody enjoys what they're doing, and they just love the place. And people said that's what comes over to them when they come into Two Gates. You don't feel like you're in a church, you don't feel pressured. They just make, feel you're part of the family. We welcome anybody into the chapel. It feels a place where you should be. And they enjoy the uh, the company that we provide, as well as the uh, the food and the entertainment. Normally, around May June time, we hold an anniversary service. The anniversaries is one of my things that I will always, always, always stick in my mind because it was always the best time of year. I think I was six when I said my first poem on the anniversary. Mr Clifford Willits came to uh, Mum's because we lived in High Park Road and he said, got just the poem for your Sheila to say on the anniversary. Uh, Jesse, he said, uh, it'll just fit it, he says, with you having Keith because my brother was born in the March. And I said, oh, I'm not saying a poem. And uh, he says, it's lovely, it's just right to be all about your brother. I said, I'm not saying a poem. And my mother says, if I say I'm saying a poem, you'll say a poem. So I did. We have a new baby, said Mabel with joy. A dear little baby, a beautiful boy. We're calling him Wilfred, his name after Dad, who says he hopes baby will be a good lad. But can't remember the other two verses. There were three verses, but that has stuck in my brain, and it don't much stick in my brain, but that. People tell me that I've done, I've done a good job, but uh, obviously uh, I'm never satisfied with the way things are. There's been Christianity in Two Gates, a very small little village, for the last 150 years. I always think there's a time in your life where you call for the Lord, where you do say, please, Lord, help me. From the stories that we pick up uh, about uh, Two Gates and the way it developed uh, over the years and the people it influenced uh, is quite phenomenal for the small uh, place of worship that it is. This celebration of 150 years is really special because in the country now, there are only two ragged schools, both in Cradley. There's Hightown Ragged School and Two Gates Ragged School. Oh, well, it's a big achievement, isn't it, to still be going, because there's a lot of churches not going, is there? You know, that were more, perhaps more important than Two Gates Ragged School. But it's because people wanted to go on and on and on. It's growing, it, it isn't diminishing at all. People love to come. I'd like to say a real thank you to all the members, the rest of the members of Two Gates. I'd just like to say thank you to the deacons and the congregation here for taking on board the idea of Run Ragged and for giving us such a warm welcome. We'd like to say thank you for all the children that come and have fun with us every Sunday. I'd like to th say thank you as the superintendent of Two Gates Ragged School, to all the people that come for all the help that they have given. For us to be able to still come here is terrific. Anyone can go on the internet and they can find out all about us. The Ragged School is part of my life and it's part of Cradley and uh, long may it continue to remain.